Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Google document to index your Google documents. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this, and I'll explain why you might want to do this in Google Documents. So here I have a document that I've created called an index of case briefs, and I want to organize all the case briefs that I wrote for my courses this semester. And I'm just going to put in a header here. Let's say my civil procedure. And I'll put down here legislation and regulation. Now, I took other courses this semester, but those are the two where I want to organize all of my case briefs. So I could go and open up another tab and find the links and put those links in there. And I could have done this throughout the semester by putting my documents into folders in Google Drive, but I didn't do that. So I'm now going to just go up here to the Insert menu. I'm going to use the Smart Chip function, and I'm going to use the File function, and there I have my case briefs. Now, I need to remember which courses I did which case briefs for, but fortunately I can remember that one pretty easily. And so now I can just insert there my document and that allows me to go ahead and look at the preview of it and also open it up in another tab if I want to by just doing that. And so now I can insert another one if I like. Maybe I'll do one down here below my legislation and regulation. Again, I'm going to insert smart chips, file, and let's go ahead and put in my case briefs. That one I know goes in legislation and regulation. Now, again, if I wasn't quite sure, I could always look at the preview here and confirm that, yep, that's where I needed to put it. So that's how you can create a Google document to index your Google Documents. As always, for more things like this, including lots of other Google Documents and Google Workspace tutorials, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.